Um, and then one last question, bro. Sing up uh, from Heather again. She says uh, when, when, when she indulges, uh, she does an edible. It feels a little different than smoking a joint. Why is that? You know, that's more of a question for Doc uh, for Doctor. Right now, nah, but I, yeah, but yeah, I'll tell you this: from what I what I know, it's it's how it's breaking down into your body, mm -hmm. right? So one is one is being inhaled, smoke going, you know, taking its way through through your lungs and your system that way. The other is being broken down as as food would. So it's you know coming through through your liver through your digest digestive tract. We need, so we, 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 we need the scientific answer. We need the scientific answer. <laughs> yeah, so so pretty much liver metabolism. That That's the short answer. If you think about how edibles are processed, you orally ingest it, goes down your esophagus, into your stomach, um, and then it's metabolized through the liver. It actually changes THC to 11-hydroxy THC, which has different properties on its own. So a longer half-life equates to a longer duration of action. That's why uh, the onset of duration is longer, about an hour to two hours for you to start feeling effects and the duration of effects is also longer anywhere between six to eight to sometimes 12 hours uh depending on your body size what you ate the the meal before so a lot of factors play into it versus smoking it just goes from your your mouth to your lungs to your bloodstream that's why the instant effects and shorter duration of action